Hey guys, so today I just thought I would show you how you could style a printed skirt. Yes, and this this particular skirt has really many, many prints. Yes, the fabric first of all stands out. The fabric is like a satin fabric. And then the prints are very many. It has all the prints you can possibly think of. It has polka dots, it has zebra print, it has um, cheetah print, and it has different colors. So yeah, the, some, some of this... Uh, type of dresses, cuts that are really printed and really multicolored are really difficult to style. So your girl has got your back if you have such a really difficult to style top. I know Africans, we have Ankara outfits that are really, really printed. You can also do this for your Ankara skirts if you have Ankara skirts because I think Ankara is a really... Uh, it's not really difficult to style, but it has a lot of prints and a lot of color in it. So... You can borrow a leaf if you have Ankara with this type of skirt. And uh, yeah, although it's not an Ankara skirt, it is just a normal skirt. But yeah, it's really printed just like an Ankara skirt. So if you want to style a multi-printed skirt like this one, I think you can borrow a leaf from the five ways I'm going to show you right now. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Let's get into the video. Yeah, so guys, I'm just going to do this while standing. For the first look, I've actually paired, and I'm going to insert it right here. For the first look, I've actually paired uh, this leopard print skirt with this chain, which is actually a gold chain, and just a sleeveless top because this is a summer look that I'm trying to recreate, a sleeveless white crop top, and some, some sandals, which are actually ribs, like they're made of reed, and uh, yeah you can wear this when it's really hot the jewelry doesn't have to be chunky you just use like light jewelry and yeah that's the first look that i'm going for with this skirt and it's a summer look. so for this next look i've actually paired um a, a beige is it beige or cream a beige sweater it can be any color of a sweater that you want that you feel comfortable in comfort comes first when it comes to fashion so i've, I've paired a beige sweater with a chunky chain and a just a strappy white bag, a plain strappy white bag, a quilted plain strappy white bag, because this is a look for the cold season, and I paired it with a pair of sneakers to go and finish up the look with the beige um, sweater. So the beige sweater ties together with the sneakers that are actually cream in color, and yeah, this is just a wonderful warm season, not warm, cold season look, yes. So if you're feeling cold, if it's July in Kenya, hey, We've got your back. Try out this look. Wear your skirt with the sweater. And you are not going to regret or going to be disappointed. So just make sure that you're comfortable. By the way, when it comes to fashion, just make sure that you're comfortable first. Because if you're uncomfortable, people are going to tell. So even if you look crazy and you're comfortable in your craziness, you will look fashionable. Yeah? Right? That's why we started wearing tatas. Because we were confident in the tatas, right? Uh, anyway, I'm just you know enjoying the bum look bum jeans look yeah and for this next look i have actually paired a really cute 1980s inspired coat yes this is an 80s inspired coat that has really big shoulder pads on it so i paired this really big shoulder padded coat yes a cream one or beige i don't know colors that well so it's either cream or beige. i've just paired it with a plain black top and a little delicate necklace you don't want a chunky thing but you can also do chunky by the way um but the coat is the main accessory for this outfit so you don't really want to outdo the coat so um because the coat is the main accessory because this is a really stylish well-cut coat yeah you want it to be noticeable that you've worn a really good coat you don't really want like to wear accessories that are now huge and giant and overshadow the coat yeah so i've just paired a plain black top and the skirt of course the skirt that is very printed and i think this 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 coat really pulls the outfit together because there's a bit of cream in the skirt so this is a, a look that you can definitely pull uh you can also remove the coat of course so it's a look that you can be transitioning maybe from daytime to evening probably not evening evening but you know not really black tie but 
at least evening okay. yeah because i'm bending so so awkwardly for the next one i've actually just paired this black top that you're actually seeing a pair of black chunky heels that have a strap on them and some chunky jewelry just to make the look more presentable and you can actually wear this like for evening wear you can also wear it just you know on a cool day but not very hot and not very cold either so this i think is a really pretty nice look if you have a plain asymmetrical top or even a high low top you can definitely pair it with a this kind of skirt and it's this final look i've actually gone with a plain black top and an over top a kimono like suede over top um yeah a suede kimono and it has ties on it basically and uh yeah this is a simple look that you can wear during the cool season this is like um what is it called an uh, earthy look like an browns blacks creams beige they're sort of like earthy looks i've gone with a green suede kimono because green is an earthy look so definitely you can play around with different colors different styles different cuts of tops different fabrics and you will get all the looks that you really want what matters most in fashion is your comfort so make sure that you're wearing things that you're comfortable in if you're not comfortable in something people are going to tell and people and it makes you look bad so when it comes to fashion make sure that you're comfortable in whatever you're wearing i've also paired it with a pair of brown boots i'm not really a fan of boots because i live in africa and i've ever done a whole video about that because uh your feet smell when you wear boots but when it's really cold sometimes it gets really cold you're allowed to get away with boots so uh, i've just paired this outfit basically for a cold season look yes so i hope you guys have completely enjoyed this what are they called these looks that i'm guys i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video uh don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video i definitely teach you guys about fashion beauty makeup so if you're into that kind of thing make sure you're subscribed because your girl here knows her thing when it comes to fashion so make sure that you are subscribed to this channel when it comes to fashion makeup beauty um finances yes i know that doesn't go usually with beauty and fashion but i definitely talk about finances because most people who like fashion and beauty are spendthrifts and you don't want to be a spendthrift when you are doing your fashion and beauty so make sure that you tune into my channel every monday wednesday and friday and i'll see you in my next video yes Thank you.